Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to take a step back from the Service Fabric programming model and we're going to look at how to install and how to use Service Fabric on Linux. In particular, we're going to install Service Fabric on Ubuntu. And I'm inside a virtual machine here and I have Ubuntu 16.04 installed, which is the version that supports Service Fabric. If you're using any other version of Linux, I'd suggest switching to Ubuntu 16.04 for this tutorial. If you're looking for a video on how to run a Linux virtual machine, please see one of my earlier tutorials. I'll leave the link in the description. And I'll also leave the link in the description for this web page here to download the Ubuntu 16.04 ISO file. So Microsoft has some documentation on how to set up a development environment on a Linux machine. And we'll be using some of this for this tutorial, but we're going to take you through it step by step. So the first thing we really need is we need to open a terminal window. So we need to have this terminal window ready. And we'll also look at the service fabric documentation for installing on Linux. Again, I'll leave the link to this in the description of the video. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open a terminal and we want to type sudo app.get update just to update our packages. Once that's done, we can run the first command here in the tutorial. So sudo apt.get install apt transport HTTPS. So we'll copy that into our terminal window and run it. And Microsoft have a script that we can use, but to do that, we need to have curl installed on our machine. So we want to again type sudo apt.get install and then curl. And when prompted, press yes and that should install curl on our Linux machine. And the script we use is again featured in this document on the website, which I will link in the description. So we should be able to just run this script and we should get most of the stuff we need to run a service fabric cluster on Linux. So we'll copy that, copy it into our terminal and press enter. Once that's finished and it usually takes around five minutes or so, we want to also make sure we have installed .NET Core SDK and also we're going to install Visual Studio Code. So to install the .NET Core SDK, all we need to type is sudo app.get install and then .NET SDK 3.1. So this should install .NET Core SDK for us. Press yes when prompted and just wait for it to download. That shouldn't take as long to download. So next we want to download Visual Studio Code. So we can go to code.visualstudio.com slash download. Again, I'll leave the link in the description and just click download here. So here we're running Ubuntu. So we want to download the .deb file. Click there, it should start the download. And I'm gonna open it here with the software installer. We're not gonna upgrade for now, but we will install Visual Studio Code. Just enter your password when prompted and wait for the installation to finish. Next, we want to make sure we have up to date versions of Node and NPM installed on our machine. So we can close out of this, go back to our terminal. And what we want to do is we want to add a new PPA. So we type curl sl https slash db. And I'll leave this command in the description as well. So that should add the PPA that we need. So once that's finished, we can run node dash dash version. We can see we're on version 4.2.6. So what we want to do is we want to type sudo apt install node.js. We want to press yes. That should install the later version of node for us. And once that's finished, we can type node dash dash version again. See, we're on version 10.19 now, and we should also have a relatively up-to-date version of NPM. Which is 6.13.4. So in order to set up our local cluster, we want to run this script here. 
So what we want to do is we want to go back to our terminal and we want to copy that command into our terminal window. So we'll copy it here and copy and paste into our terminal and press enter. And this should start up a local service fabric cluster manager, just like we saw running in Windows in our previous tutorials, but in this case, it's running on Linux. So once that's installed, we should be able to navigate to localhost 19080 and our service fabric cluster explorer should be running. And we can see here that we have the exact same service fabric explorer like we saw in Windows.